Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will be creating a drag and drop functionality where we will like drag files and drop it and then they, it will start upload. We won't go to the start upload process, but just write just a console where it will show those files are dropped, like whatever files are dropped and then we can take it forward or you guys can take it forward to write the server side code to upload the files. So let me show you a quick example of it, how it works. So here I have the files that so these two files I want to when I drop it over here you should see something in the console so if I go over here like let's say one and two and when I drop it over here you'll see they are like uploading this uploading this and then we can take this file data and upload it on the server so let's see how we can create this component okay so I will be using the same file uh, same for project that I use for shopping cart detector uh, then meta mask wallet and all those things the repo is on github and also the videos as well so please do check uh, my library of youtube channel where you'll see all these videos uh, then here let me show you or just a quick recap what we have so we ha already have a list of paths and here i have just added one path which is file drop which is going to the file drop page component which is this one and inside this file drop page component we have a file drop component which is coming from here in the components list now this component will is gonna emit an event whenever there is a file dropped or whenever someone upload the file in that drop drag and drop box that we saw before and then we can use this function currently we are just consoling those files but later we can use it to upload those on server maybe using firebase or wherever we like now i purposely keep it as a separate component so that we can reuse it and also i have given some class here so that we can give some custom classes uh, like something sometimes like you might want it you might have this uh, file drag and I'm not, I'm not sure what exactly it's called but let's call it like file uploader with drag and drop functionality <laughs> quite a long name so this you might have it on several pages sometimes you might have it on a like a fixed size sometimes you might have it on a like a small or a huge size so just to give that flexibility we'll just uh, add class on the component itself the sizes classes or any other classes but apart from that we will just have like a like a just a before we begin we just have this skeleton now to begin with what we need to do is we will ha need to have a label tag here and then inside this label tag we will have an input file uh, let's like do this file and then inside that we will have another span tag just to show our message like drag and drop here or drop your files here so let's write a drop your files here something like this and let's make this also multiple multiple awesome now let's see how it looks like so if I go back over here uh, it's showing me um, error okay so if we just refresh this page okay there we go so here we have this message and everything which is fine now let's style this so first to begin with let's begin with this one so here as we are passing this classes from the component so we need to just put them on this label so here I'm gonna use v bind and then there will be attributes so all the classes or whatever extra attributes you are passing in this case the class that will just come over here and then we will have our like predefined classes so i'll just call this as a label and i can write the styling over here so now for this i'm using tailwind so i'll be using tailwind classes so first to begin with we have apply class sorry apply directive then we will use the tailwind classes that we want so here i want to make this relative because these two are going to be absolute i'll tell you why they will be absolute so these first it's going to be relative then background we won't keep it here i'll tell you where to write the background classes but for now i'm going to say transition all whenever we are having those uh, effect of background change on drag and drop for that we just need some smooth effect and then ease in ease out and duration of let's say 300 and uh, for now let's okay also give this some border so border gray let's say 500 just for, to see how it looks like now if we go back to our browser over here okay we have this now we need to hide this input type file and need to get this drag drop your files here now if you notice if i click uh, wherever i want this like if i click it over here or here it just opens that's fine but just to be on safer sides this thing to open properly what i'm gonna do is do this input uh, let's go over here and take class as input i'm just gonna say this input is absolutely place so absolute 
top is 0, left is 0, and height is full, sorry, width is full, and also height is full. Awesome. Just to be on safer side, even though it works, like wherever we click, but just to be on safer side, wherever we click, inside that box, it should work. Not outside, just inside. Awesome. Now, next thing is, we have this. Now, let's do something with this message. So, here I'm going to say class, then message. And here I could say dot message and again this will be absolute then I want this exactly in the center now how we can bring an absolute element in the center well we give the top of 50 percent so mat, uh, like the top position to be 50 percent and then left position also to be 50 percent one by two awesome now it's somewhere like in a very weird position let me show you so it would be somewhere here now we need to bring this in the center to bring this in the center we just simply use translate x by 1 by 2 but this time it's going to be negative translate and so on x-axis and also translate y translate y 1 by 2 and also this time it's going to be negative translate and when we do this you will see it's exactly in the center now this input needs to go off so what do we need to do is just need to put a class of hidden here awesome and then we have our drop drag drop your files all that box ready now next thing is making it functional now let's make this functional so to make this functional first we need to understand the drag and drop uh, mechanism so what happens is whenever uh, let's say if I go over here and drag these files and bring them over here that is then I'm doing a drag enter on this uh, element here when I go out of it it's drag leave and when I drop files here that's drop now if you see when I drop it it's downloaded the file we don't want that so let's see how we can handle that so here let's first have const events so we need to have for all the events like drag enter drop drag leave and drag over to have their pre default action to be prevented so here I'm going to say drag enter then drag leave then drag over then drop awesome there it prevent like we just will be preventing their default action so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use import on mounted and unmount on unmounted that from view now why we need this is because when the component mounts we add the event listener which prevents their default action and when the component unmounts we just remove their uh, event listener so what we need to do is on mounted this is gonna run a function so events dot for each event event I wanna make sure that document dot body instead of remove listener it should be add event listener then they're gonna be this event I just want to make sure that this e like for this event it prevents its default action awesome in the same way we need to do this for unmounted so let's copy this paste it over here and here I'm gonna say on unmounted but instead of um, adding it we need to remove it now let's give it a try if it works correctly so if I go back over here just refresh this just to be on safer side and now if we just take this files over here and pull like just try to paste put them over here and there we go it's not downloaded but they are just holded somewhere now next thing we need to do this is uh, like listen for this drop event because we are dropping file inside this label so here I'm gonna say add drop or on drop I need to prevent the default action for sure and then handle drop or you can name it anything you like so here I will have function handle drop now if you notice whenever we upload a file or whenever we drop files we are emitting an event here so that we can start our upload so what we need to do is we need to have an emit so here I'm gonna say const emit equal to define emit this is a setup script uh, view setup script type script way of writing things so here we just need to make sure that this as it's strictly typed so it should be something like this and inside this we have then our event so that would be upload and our event is gonna send files that's gonna be of array of file 
and this is gonna return void awesome and here I could say emit whatever I want to emit but before that let's see what happens first so here I'm gonna say like whatever this event happens that we can ha uh, catch the event handler over here or the object event object over here but this is gonna be of type void and here I could say this event is actually of type drag event and here I could say console.log so files and I want to see e dot data transfer so drag event has this uh, option of like well key or you could say option of data transfer and then inside that it has files now as it could be of type data transfer and also null we just need to make sure that it has certain value before we go inside that files now let's go back over here and let's try to upload something and also for that let's have this dev tool opens here and let's go back over here here and then if we try to upload it here we go we have the file list now this file list even though it's a list but it's of type if you will see it's actually an object it's not an it's it's not an array so here we need to uh, like make it into an array so that we can use it for our upload outside so what we need to do is here I'm gonna say something like this const files equal to this thing same as it is and I want to do like same console actually but here I want to use a spread operator to convert into array now you will see it's throwing an error the reason it's throwing an error because it just need to make sure that it is of type file list and not undefined so how we can make it as type file list well it's pretty simple we can here simply say it is of type file list awesome and the error goes off now if we go back over here again do the same thing so let's remove this from here uh, this one over here if we do this and there we go we have the array now and then this array we can send it outside to, or to our parent now here instead of console all I need to write is emit upload and then we need to pass our files but this time as it's gonna be an array we just need to use the spread operator like this awesome so we have our files uh, that's getting emitted up over uh, to our parent now we also need to handle the click event so what happens when we click on it and then we upload the file so we need to also handle that mechanism so here I'm gonna say input and here I'm gonna add an event of when there is an input on this and then handle input so here same thing is gonna happen but slightly different so this will be handle input but this time instead of drag event it's gonna be input event okay and here instead of data transfer it's gonna be target now here it's gonna throw error and we cannot use question mark because this target needs to be not event target but an HTML input element so for that we need to do something like this we need to say okay this is target that's great but treat it as HTML input element and there we go the error goes off so handle input will handle this drop dot prevent will handle sorry uh, the drop uh, event will handle this handle drop now next thing is just adding an extra step which is uh, just having that hover effect or rather so what we are going to do is uh, on this label let's write first hover I want BG gray of let's say 400 and when we drop on it so if we hover on it okay, it has that hover effect now when we are taking files inside this we just need that extra like that that hover effect to be maintained because if you notice if I take these files like this now from here like this that hover effect doesn't stand the reason being it's not a hover it's something else and that is drag enter and drag leave so let's have that so here I'm gonna say whenever there is a drag enter you need to do something and whenever there is a drag leave you also need to do something and that something is here we will have a variable like this so that would be const entering just to make sure or keep track of what's happening so by default it's going to be false so whenever it is entering we want to have where so whenever when it's entering we want to have BG of gray 500 
and whenever it's leaving so entering will be false at that time we need to have bg of grade let's say 100 and here all I need to do is just gonna say when it's entering make it true and when it's leaving make entering and back to normal which is false awesome now let's give it a try so okay this works great let's see for the file uh, also if it works so we go take it here uh, okay for this it's not working okay let's refresh this okay let's remove this and now let's give it a try again and there we go awesome so okay this works so we have these two files now let's try with the upload let's click so if we just open multiple like this and there we go awesome so everything is working well so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button because it helps a lot for channel to grow if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel actually I'm uh, kind of close of going to 1000 subscribers so if you guys could please help me to reach that target that would be great thanks again for watching my video see you in the next video till the next time goodbye